Ah, so I got this Hollywood casting coming about, but I just need some kind of skill, you know. I need to be able to, like, be some ushu or like some martial arts, be able to, be able to fly, you know. But it's just lacking. Whoa, what was that, man? What oh, this guy is amazing. Oh my goodness. Hey man, so that was amazing. I saw you flying from like this platform to another. What is this, man? Uh, it's actually called Parkour. Parkour? You mean like the dating app? No, it's actually called Parkour. It's a discipline, an art of movement. Oh, it sounds amazing. You wanna show me some stuff? Yeah, sure, come, let's go. Okay. Um, parkour is a discipline, an art of motion. Um, basically, it's about getting from one point in the fastest way possible. So. Other than that, it's also a method for a person, for a person to you know, express himself through their movements. Um, personally, for me, it's kind of like a life hack. Um, I use it to get across places where everyone else is being followed. They have to follow the, the road and everything. But because you're able to do parkour movements, so you're able to you know, get across some place a lot faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover landing. So you're going to land on the balls of feet. Yeah? So it's allowing your legs to act as a suspension. Make sure your knees doesn't pipe past your toes. If it does, your hands should come down and prevent your face from planting against the floor. Okay, when you jump and land, make sure your back is straightened. Yeah, so you can start from the ground level and bring your body up. Okay, always land as soft as possible. So this is a good way to tell whether you're landing with control. So the reason of the rationale behind going up is so that you can see where you want to land and you want to keep your feet as close together because sometimes the landing surface is only so wide. So it's better to start practicing while you're still on the ground. Yeah? So after some time, you can slowly progress and allow your body to progress upwards. Yeah? So always make sure that you land with soft control landing. So next we're going to cover bots, which is uh, some of the most fanciful moves in parkour, but it's also kind of like the most useless ones. Because most of the time people will bypass the obstacle, but there are occasions whereby you can't. So that's where bots come in extraordinarily useful. So what happens is, uh, we're going to go on with the most basic one which is known as step board. So you take a step and then your hands grab the bar and you lift your body up. And then after, you make sure that there's a good one arm's length apart for your legs to pass through. And after it has passed through, make sure that it's pointing downwards and forward. So you reduce the landing and allows your hands to continue in the motion of running. Alright, cool. So this is known as the tic tac to cat hang. So cat hang is basically this. So you grab against the wall, then your hands, make sure it's basically like grabbing against the wall mover. So your feet. So tic tac, right, is basically you take a step and then you kick off hard enough. So if you are kicking with this leg, then your body, the other leg will come in and receive the wall. Yeah. Seven TV, your most social media.